Hi hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talking to you from my couch today. I just finished making this cool effect and I'm gonna teach you how to make that in this video. So keep on watching, it's gonna be a cool one. So we start off with a texture. I'm just gonna position it and this is gonna be our main background. I'll then grab my rectangle tool and make a shape. Doesn't matter what fill color it is, just be sure to have a fill color and just remove the stroke. You can make it whichever shape you want. I'm going with this rectangle and you can choose to align it to the canvas and just center align it everywhere. Next, drag and drop your image in there and we're going to hold down the Alt key, click to create a clipping mask and just place your image inside of that shape we just made. Position it properly wherever you want. We're then gonna go into the adjustments tab and we're gonna add a threshold effect. You can play around with this slider right here. Click on your image, then go to filter. Make sure to clip your threshold to your image as well. Then click on your image, go to filter, noise, add noise, and we're gonna add about 5%. This way we get a little bit more detail even we, if we have that threshold going on on top of it. Go back to the adjustments and we're going to add a gradient map. We're going to clip that to our image as well. And we're just going to select two colors. I want it to have a bluish tone and then this cream tone for the highlights. And I'm going to take that cream by just sampling the color of the background. I'll grab my rectangle tool. This time we'll remove the fill and just make sure we have a stroke on. I just wanna give this shape a little border. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. I'll sample the blue color and we'll start adding the text. Change the font, position it wherever you want it to be. I'll then select all the layers but our texture background and I'll convert those into a smart object. I'll then go to filter, distort, ripple. This is what's going to start to help us give that little distressed look. I'll go with 50% for the amount and small size. Next, I'll, I'll remove visibility of our image and text and just leave our texture there. And we're gonna save this as a PSD file. We're gonna call it displacement map. Turn on the visibility again and then go to filter, distort, displace. Press OK and you're then going to select your textured background. So you can see now our image and our text have kind of taken on the shape of our background texture. To give it a little more textured look, just double click on the image and text layer. And if you move the slider around, you can see you can start having all these details if you use the underlying layer. So find a spot you like, then hold on the Alt or Option key and click to divide that little arrow in half. and kind of make it transition. So not so harsh, press okay when you're happy with it. And that's pretty much it. Pretty cool, right? Feel free to like this and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna see more tutorials. And also comment down below. Let me know if you liked it, if you have any requests or suggestions for my next videos. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.